Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on the channel Savalmash. We are now on the territory of the Design and Technological Bureau. This is Alexander Sudorov, as always. And we have decided to show you today what is happening on the construction site. I hope that you have been missing us, our videos. There were other videos to replace them. Today we are going to speak about the construction. And as you have noticed, we are now in the mezzanine of the first floor. Mounting of the metal frameworks is in full swing. Very soon they will be joined together. And then depending on the zone, tiles will be laid, linoleum will be laid, and then the floor will be formed. The one that employees will walk on inside the building. And of course, very soon, installation of interim partitions will begin. Now, let's walk around the construction site and look at what else has changed here. As you see, the territory of the temporary warehouse outside is quite empty. You now see these frames from the quadrotor. And as for the Design and Technological Bureau area, I cannot say that it is actually inundated with materials, but it is quite full. The materials which are being installed now, to the right of me, you can see a room which has been formed. This room is a testing laboratory. Let's enter it and look at what it looks like inside. Today, installation of interim partitions has been finished here. And very soon the time will come when floor work will start. It will be a polymer floor, dielectric one, to increase accuracy of measurement work and other things as well. It will also be very solid, very hard. You also see the erection truss there. A telfer will move along it. It will help our testers to install special equipment, test benches, and also to install the motors to be tested. And behind this door frame, you hear a lot of noise. There is work going on. People are sewing something and cutting something as well. There will be an echo-free chamber there. I hope it is one of the few frames where you hear such noise. And later it will be very calm and very peaceful. Maybe you will hear a motor running from far away, but there won't be an echo. It will be totally different. And running ahead of myself, I can say that maybe somebody will use this chamber sometimes in order to do voiceover for a video. We will see. We are now also in a one floor annex building. You see the gate, you see the entry probe, a little hole to connect communications, utility lines, and behind the window you see a lot of snow as they sang in a popular song, and you see a pit there. And inside the pit, some concrete work was performed. And now they are performing more complex concrete work. Reinforcements are fastened and a well is formed. A well which acts as a commutator and which is necessary to connect the utility lines, external utility lines. Well, work is continuing there. Plates of the temporary road have been demounted, and we will look at what it will bring us this year. There are more and more of metal frameworks, not only there where there is the laboratory and under the mezzanine of the first floor. We see them on the warehouse territory as well. Guys are working really fast, really fast. It is important not to miss the moment, Alexei, right? When we will be able to record the video of mounting of the partitions. You're also afraid to skip that, right? To miss that. We'll just come here every day. Gas and concrete wall. Anti-fire gap. What is behind it? The administrative and utilities building. And what is inside the administrative and utilities building? Inside it, you can see the final 
installation of interim partitions on the first floor. Some of the partitions are not yet closed from one side. It is done deliberately. Work has already begun to lay internal utility lines, sockets, electricity, cabling, low current facilities, all of that will be done and many other interesting things. And you also need to set up water supply. Our brave builders are working on that now. And the second floor, what is happening there? On the second floor, as you see, there is also a forest of different partitions, frameworks, and every day it is becoming more and more dense. Just like any other forest in the world. And we add fertilizers there and we just control the process. As I have already said, work with utility lines is there at quite a high pace. We see that plates of the temporary road have already been demounted. They are stored there. The guys will show it now. Behind me there is the pit we have already mentioned. And somewhere far away you can see blue structures, not in the foreground but in the background. They are transformers. And very soon these transformers will be installed inside the building. To do that, it was important to prepare a temporary road for that process. But now the soil is frozen, there is no mud. A manipulator, a crane, can approach it and move it inside the building. In parallel with that, you'll now see some quadrotor images. Work is going on with utility lines beyond the construction site. A trench has been excavated. It was quite an interesting task to solve, because when we approached the center of heat connection, we found out that there was some concrete below the asphalt of quite an important volume. Our builders coped with that, they demounted the area which was necessary, they dug some area, they went around the utility lines of our neighbors, no utility lines were damaged, which really proves how professional they are. As of today, backfill of sand has been performed, subconcrete work has been performed, and today, in front of your eyes, you see those installations happening. And very soon, the period will come when this installation will have been completed, and we will start piping itself, laying pipes themselves. I think that the process will be quite difficult, very interesting, and we will try to show it to you. Well, basically that is the work which is being performed on the construction site. On the second floor of the building there is work as well. The runoff water system and preparation work, preparation in terms of utility lines and many other things. Thank you for your time, thank you for having watched this. Follow our news, subscribe to our resources, like our videos, repost our publications and videos as well. And it will be really great if as many people as possible learn about the project which is now developing in the Russian Federation, in the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow, on Labushova site. See you soon.